It's essential to use this knowledge responsibly and ethically. Instead of engaging in unethical activities, consider challenging yourself with capture of the flag competitions. It provides a safe and legal platform to practice your hacking skills and compete with others in a friendly environment. Plus, you get a good achievement to put in your resume and get a cybersecurity job. Imagine you're a detective tasked with uncovering the secrets of a vast, complex network. Your first tool, a powerful network scanner capable of revealing hidden vulnerabilities and potential threats. Let's take a look at this tool. At its core, Nmap sends packets to target hosts and analyzes the responses. Different scan types are used for various purposes. It sends TCP or UDP packets to target ports to determine their state open, closed, or filtered. It can also do a stealth scan which minimizes the detection of the scan by sending fewer packets. With Nmap, you can discover hosts, ports, and detect operating system. PFLAG instructs Nmap to scan ports on a target host. OFLAG triggers Nmapso's detection feature. It analyzes network packets to identify the operating system and version running on the target host. Now, what is the use of collecting all this data? Introducing Metasploit. Metasploit is like a toolbox for hackers, providing a vast array of tools and techniques to assess security posture. Key features of Metasploit include a massive database of pre-built exploits targeting various vulnerabilities. Methods to deliver payloads, such as reverse shells, to compromise systems and tools to gather information, escalate privileges, and maintain persistence on compromised systems. The main feature that Metasploit provides is the functionality to search exploits with keywords. Suppose the target network is in Ubuntu and has a FTP port open. You can search it in Metasploit to get existing exploits for it. You can also use the payload delivery model to try and exploit the vulnerability. Even though whatever we have seen seems so easy to do, ethical hacking takes a lot of practice. If you're interested in pursuing a career in cybersecurity or simply want to enhance your technical skills, here are some practical steps. Learn the basics of network fundamentals, operating systems, and programming languages. Gain practical experience by setting up a virtual machine to practice. Participate in CTF and contribute to open source projects. Stay updated by following cybersecurity news and blogs. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.